Okay, there was discussion recently about the ring land height of various pistons and how much strength for boost that gives them. So, this is a STI piston. This is a EJ25 piston from a non-turbo Subaru. They're both 2.5 liter motors, pretty much the same design uh, other than the compression ratio. And we um, thought, let's find out which has thicker ring land heights. I guess you can't see, that's 4.6 millimeters. And that's 4.2 millimeters. So not much difference, but these 10-1 cast pistons don't last very long at pressures over around 6 psi or so, maybe 2 100 to 250 wheel horsepower and the STI pistons last a whole lot longer with lower compression ratio even though I guess these are also cast um, I picked these up because a lot of people just get rid of the stock pistons when they build a new motor and go right to some forged aftermarket so these are actually brand new takeouts out of a, um, a STI short block um, I have actually an STI short block in my Subaru right now, but no, no more boost. So, out of curiosity, we got 18.8 millimeters. 18, yeah, 18.8 millimeters. <coughs> and 17.7, 17 17.5. .7, So as you can see, the bright idea of just buying some STI pistons to throw in didn't work out too well because the dome height is different between the two pistons. Um, you can sort of tell, actually, just by looking at the amount of material machined out here for the wrist pin versus there on the STI piston for the wrist pin. So what is this one right here? This is a RDX. Accurate RDX uh, rod and piston. This is another uh, factory turbocharged motor. I believe this is also a cast piston. And we have 6.36, 6.4 millimeter, 6.3. So thicker dome. Um, than the STI. Uh, I guess this is a direct injection motor. It's another odd difference. If you look at the dish here, the STI is just pretty much a round dish. A little bit of valve reliefs. This is quite a dish, but it also has a dome on the edge for, I guess, the quench pads. But these domes actually protrude past the top plane of, of the assembly. My point-and-shoot camera is not the greatest for this, but you can see it is a dish, but it also has those significant um, pads, I guess. The connecting rods right here are from a uh, Blue 88 supercharged MR2 for a GZE motor, and these mo these these rods are beefy. They They've gone. They've gone to way higher horsepower numbers than I'll ever push them to. Um, compared to the RDX uh, K23 rod, it's just long and spindly. It's quite astonishing the the difference in size. But I mean, who knows? These rods might be stronger than they look, but. They don't look like they're all that.